Hi, my name is Guilherme. This presentation is intended to the course about energy efficiency computing at the University of Campinas, and I will talk about uh, an energy efficient design for a redout system based on FPGAs technology for semiconductor radiation detectors. This presentation will be divided into three sections. So first, I will introduce the motivation and problem contextualization, the objectives, and then the methodology and the results. In this introduction, I hope you can understand what are radiation detectors, why do they need a redoubt system, and why concern about energy efficiency. The MedPix collaboration was formed by CERN and developed a photon counting detector which provides frame based readout in high speed without any that time in spectroscopic or color imaging. Since it is a hybrid pixel detector, it has a sensor layer which can be in silicon, cadmium telluride, gallium arsenide, or other materials, where the radiation photon is directly converted into current by the photoelectric effect. The active area contains a 256 by 256 matrix of 55 micrometer square pixels. The periphery which contains IO and power pads is placed at the bottom. The regular structure in the matrix is implemented as a cluster composed of 2 by 2 pixels with different circuitry. This allows the implementation, for example, uh, in which only one pixel is, is in the cluster is bounded allowing spectroscopic or true color images, or also the charge sum in compensation for charge dispersion. This figure shows the schematic of the circuitry for a single pixel, so each pixel in the matrix has a digital and an analog front-end part. The analog part has a preamplifier, a pulse shaper and two discriminators, and the digital has a processing logic and two counters that will increment for each individual photon incidence in that active area. Because the pixel contains two counters, one associated with each threshold, the pixel readout can be configured for continuous read-write. This makes simultaneous counting and readout possible, providing that time-free operation. So here we can see the layout of the regular structure. The pixel cell was synthesized using a custom library designed by CERN, aiming to minimize the leakage current and to improve the radiation hardness. The main applications of MedPix are listed here. It can be used for X-ray imaging like in medical applications for computer tomography or in high energy physics for particle detection and tracking. In X-ray imaging for synchrotron light accelerators, Large area cameras are built using semiconductor radiation detectors to operate with very fast frame rates and to obtain high resolution images. Also, the electronics must be vacuum compatible, demanding water cooled solutions to keep the temperature stable. A higher power dissipation or leakage current are directly proportional to the increase of temperature and decrease of the image quality in terms of the noise floor. Another ship of the same family developed by the collaboration is the Time Pix. This one is very often used in space applications like dosimetry and measuring the radiation weather. In 2022, we'll be sending the Time Pix on a mission to the Moon. The Lunar Lander model, Nova C, will be sent by NASA and launched by SpaceX rocket. They expect to ship in 2024 the first fully commercial trip to the moon manned by people and TimePix 4 based dosimeters will be like used. TimePix ships are used in continuous operation externally on satellites in vacuum at lower Earth orbit and internally within the International Space Station or the Orion spacecraft. It's very interesting that these battery-operated radiation detectors need to have low power consumption and also small size and weight 
and be resistant to high energy radiation particles. The objective of this work is to propose and study some alternatives to improve the power consumption efficiency of this kind of detector. The readout system is the front-end electronics that communicate with the ASIC by the LVDS periphery pins in parallel and high-speed signals. The first attempt to achieve this goal is to change the way the readout system manages the clock network. Since the FPGA has the clock source, it could use a dynamic scaling technique to change this frequency during the operation, or even seize the clock when the system is idle. It would be interesting to sweep these frequencies and evaluate the effect in the power domains. Another technique that will be proposed to reduce the power consumption is to study the behavior of the ship when the voltage supply would apply uh, dynamic scaling. There is a protocol based on I2C that provides a power management bus for monitoring and also actuation, and a microcontroller unit has access to it. Each of the power domains will have a different impact on the ASIC functionality and consumption. Methodology The readout system is based on two FPGA device boards and a single MedPix ASIC. The data read from the detector is sent by a high-speed fiber optics link to a back-end server with direct access to the memory. The instrumented hardware was used to apply dynamic voltage in frequency scaling and to measure the current consumption for each test case defined. This is the MedPix ASIC that was used in this study. I used external voltage sources in the first moment, so I could measure the current and power consumption directly without having to automate any procedure. After defining the steps and values to be used, the idea is to implement the design and embed it into the logic system. The methodology of this work was divided into two parts, the experimental tests and simulation. So in the first part, it was carried out some measurements into these three power domains and studied the behavior by the ship functionality and the impact on the current consumption. In the second moment, all the functionalities of the ship were uh, simulated so it could support a logic design to implement the proposed techniques for low power and to improve the efficiency. The test procedure when measuring the currents consists by the described lists. First, I swept the variable under study. That could be the clock frequency or the voltage in the source supply. In case of the frequency, it's a good idea to check in an oscilloscope. Then, I send the reset signal once before the measurement and read the ship ID to assure communication. Ensure the DAC parameters are set as expected and then we wrote down the measured values. Results This is the first important result. The figure shows the power consumption for the pixel matrix digital supply. It can be seen that there is a discontinuity below 1.4 volts, where the power consumption has a peak. So it can be verified that the ship should work uh, only above this voltage boundary. This is a really interesting result, since the CMOS microelectronics technology dynamic power consumption can be modeled as directly proportional to the frequency. The curve is expected as it's shown here for this power domain. And here we can observe the power budget of the ASIC for the three domains. Since the analog circuit is responsible for the major part, it should be the most important to be optimized. In this table is presented the measured values 
of power consumption for all of these domains. And they were obtained by the previous voltage and frequency sweeps. The three design techniques proposed in this work are described here. All of them are concerning the VDD as a digital power supply for the pixel matrix. The first one considers dynamic frequency scaling. The second is dynamic voltage and frequency scaling, but considering only voltage values where the chip is still operational, which means above 1.4 volts. And finally, the Glock gating, where the consumption is almost zero for this domain. All the chip functionalities were simulated using cadence tools. The idea here is to support the design, propose a validation, and assert this will keep working after any of the implemented changes. This is the list of functionalities that were performed by the simulation. It was possible to read and write the register bank of the ASIC for operation modes, also to set the spools and DAC parameters, and finally reset, load and read pixel count values. The main achievements of this work was to provide a better understanding of the ASIC power domains, to propose a better uh, energy efficient design approach. Considering some interesting techniques and proof that they, they could work and actually improve the system. As a future work, it would be suggested to study the actual influence of power dissipation and efficiency improvements in the temperature value or stability. Also, it was verified that the main contributor to the ASIC power consumption was the analog part of the ship. That means that another study focusing this domain has a great potential. And finally, as a suggestion, it would be interesting to analyze the power consumption for these other ship operation modes, since the pixel matrix is reconfigured in size, interconnections, and circuit functionality. Here are listed the literature review that was done. Thank you very much.